Good morning, my family in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotion. Thank God for another day, another week. Indeed, this is the week of the devil's defeat. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And we are grateful for the love of God, for his mercies towards us, and his grace that sustains us. And today, I want to speak in this devotion to men, husbands in particular. And our meditation comes from Ephesians 5, verse 25 through 27. And it reads, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of the water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself a splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. The word of God to the people of God. The foundation of society is the family. The foundation of the family is a godly marriage. And a godly marriage is foundation upon love where husbands, men, are ordained by God to lead. Paul in his writing confronted the cultural norm of that day where husband had almost total authority over the women, the children, and the slave. It was a hierarchical society where men dominated. However, in the kingdom of God, marriage is a godly union where God joins a man and a woman and the two become one with love being the connecting force. And the husband is admonished to lead in love with God's help. Half of a scissors is not very useful. As a matter of fact, it is a weapon. But when they are joined and in right position, they are most useful. In the context of godly marriages, God joins us. God positions us. And we are useful when we understand how his love causes us to be one. God loves us all. We are all equal to him. And husbands are modest to lead this charge and cause love to be alive and well in the home. When that takes place, God gets to glory and society in the whole is impacted. When that is out of place, we see what's going on today. And the only way it can be resolved is through love. So I admonish us husbands today. Let's love our wives. Let's love our children. Let's love our family. As Christ loved the church and gave himself, we can only do it through God. So let's find ourselves knowing God, understanding God, so that we can love like only God can do. Father, we give you praise today. We meditate and encourage husbands everywhere to take time to know you so that we may love according to your will, to your way. We thank you, Father, that it's possible that we can do it because you have commanded, you have called us there, you've ordained us to do it, and we can. And so I give you praise today for understanding, 
for recommitment, for confession, indeed, for repentance, all that is necessary for us to get back on track as husbands, to change society, to make a difference in this world. We give you praise because with love, there is power. With love, there is authority. With love, there is hope. And we bring that today as husbands. We bring that today in our homes, in society, the love of God. So the difference is now realized because we have your love. We give you praise as we allow your love to manifest through us in family, in relations, on the job, wherever we may be, causing you to be seen, given hope to those who are hopeless and life to those who are dead. We give you thanks and praise as we yield those who lead the nations this morning, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families. May they recognize your love and indeed submit. We bless you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Thank you for leading us today. And we will lead with the love of God, being our help, being our engine, being our impetus. We give you thanks for husbands. We give you praise that we are revived, we are restored in the love of God, that we may do that which is right and righteous, pleasing you, even now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and keep you today as we seek to live out. And let's pray for husbands to be in place with the love of God towards our families, particularly our wives. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. 